Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 14th into the 15th. So, this, you know, these daily vibes are kind of timeless. They're really not for any certain day. It's whatever energy I'm picking up on today for somebody, whoever it is. I don't know. We'll see. Well, you're going to see whatever comes up. We're going to get one of these, and we're going to use that deck right there. This is for whoever it resonates with. Just an energy I'm picking up, a message that somebody needs to hear. I'm going to do the singles uh, seven day forecast next for the sign for the elements. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you know, as the Earth signs, then the Air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, I'm going to do the the three seven day forecasts for singles next. Well, well, ain't that a beauty? Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. I mean, the card really speaks for itself, right? It really, really does. Somebody needs to wake up and acknowledge the truth that they know deep inside. Somebody needs to wake up. But denial is safe, it really is. It's a safety zone. It takes strength to deal with something that you are denying. Right? It does. It takes strength to acknowledge fear and to cross, cross that threshold, right? It takes strength. To stop living in denial. And that's the energy of the day. Think about this for a minute. Take a second to become aware of what you are in denial about. And somebody's going to comment, I'm not in denial. If you comment that, this was a real trigger for you. Huge trigger. Somebody's in denial about something and they are refusing to wake up. Even though they know. They know. What do we got for today, Tarot? What do we got for today? Well, this is coming out of denial. Absolutely it is. No longer going to be in denial. That's what this is. The hangman reversed. No longer going to resist this change. Going to face the struggle. That's what this means. Upright. It's denial. You know? Nope. I've been enlightened. I'm wide awake. I'm ready. I'm ready. Somebody is ready. To get unstuck. I mean, he's not even, his arms aren't even tied. You know, it's like, I think what's going to happen is, is he's going to bend down and he's going to untie his leg and walk away from a situation. that has blocked him from something, something has been blocked. Rebirth. I mean, that's a freaking sperm right there. It is. What does a sperm do? It causes a birth. 
It's re, as somebody has blocked their rebirth, they have blocked their new beginning, they have blocked their miracle, they have blocked their, perhaps even their inner child, you know, because this, is, this turns into a child, you know, they've, they've denied growth. They've denied a new beginning for themselves by sacrificing themselves and wasting their time denying their own truth. Hmm. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know the truth. I just soon cover my eyes and pretend everything is just fine as it is. It's like somebody is seeing the cups as empty. That thing just flickered. I don't know if you saw it. It's way over there. It just flickered a lot. The ship, I'm telling you what, there's spirits in this room. I mean, it literally just, I mean, I heard, I turned my head because I saw it flicker. Like, strongly. That flame in this candle. So, anybody, any, anyway, somebody is refusing to open their eyes when it's time to open your eyes and realize that you have multiple options, you have multiple paths, you have multiple choices, but choosing to be confused, choosing not to see. It's like you're, you're covering your own eyes. <laughs> Wake up. The High Priestess is that ultimate awareness. She has the key. This is the key to the, her destiny, right? All she has to do is unlock that door. The door to her truth. She needs to follow her intuition, what she knows. The High Priestess knows she knows. Sometimes she denies what she knows. You know, she lets those little voices in her head um, lead her in the wrong direction sometimes. Sometimes she doesn't even listen to those voices in her head at all. That's why there's so much confusion. She doesn't know, you know, at this point, if what's real and what's not, right? Is that what this is? I mean, I don't know what's real and I, I don't know what is real and what isn't. Yes, you do. You know. You know. You really do know. Deep down, you know. Somebody is really unhappy in a situation that is discontent. I mean, I want more. I'm bored. The love is not really fulfilling them. One of the cups has already been emptied. It's already spilled out. It's already, you know, it's about to dry up. It's going to dry up. It's going to, it is. It's drying up right now. And it's like this person doesn't even care. It's like I don't even care anymore. Whatever. Whatever. This person is so unhappy that, you know, it's like, I don't even care anymore. But there's an opportunity for a rebirth. Remember, we talked about this. There's the birth, okay? We talked about this here. There's an opportunity to 
you know, grow. There's an opportunity to be happy. There's an opportunity to, um, increase your vibration, raise your vibration and, and see the light and just feel alive again. There is. And I feel like somebody is thinking about heading in a new direction to find the happiness that they have sacrificed themselves from from being in it's like i somebody has been stuck in a situation that is unhappy and they have an opportunity to move forward and have a renewal or a rebirth or go someplace where it's better where it's where it's uh new you know where there's newness where there's more fertility you know where there's more happiness but all they have to they have to they have to break free from this situation that they're in denial about somebody's changing they're going to change their course but they're blocking they're blocking something somebody is blocking good fortune but i think somebody's going to find the strength to take the mask off and see things clearly. Somebody is. Somebody is going to do that. Because I see things are going to change. I'm going to focus this. Oh my goodness gracious. So somebody has absolutely been stuck, right? They have. The Six of Swords reversed. Uh, refusing, you know, or, or not allowing something to transition as it should. You know, there's a there's a change on the horizon. There's a change in the in the script, okay? It's like, this is part of the script. You have to find strength in this lifetime, right? To face your fear. And this, this is a Queen of Strength right here. Um, this is the Queen of Creativity. It's the Queen of passion this woman she finds the strength and the willpower to you know take a new approach to get things done she is very determined and confident and she's a very high vibration so it looks as though somebody is going to see the light and use their free will to change their destiny because wherever they're at there's no growth there's no forward movement there's no success there's probably a lack of communication and this person, whoever has been sacrificing, wasting their life, wasting their time, you know, staying in something that is unfulfilling and just unhappy. But they know that they, they're going to have to face it. They, so this person knows that it's time to come out of denial and face the fear, right? They do. Because right now, they're missing a golden opportunity. They know that they're missing opportunities. They're missing success. They're missing stability. They're missing security. They're missing uh, abundance where they're at. They know that, and they know that they have to transition, but there's, there's, there's fear of transition. You know, the Six of Swords, it's reversed. There's fear of the unknown. So they're staying in a situation that is choppy and troublesome and murky because whatever, it's safe. It's safe, right? It's safe. But it looks to me like somebody is going to find their strength and their courage. To start over. Because this is the Ace of Wands. 
It's like, I've got this new vision. I've got this new spark inside me and I want to live again. I want to live again. And the only way that I can live again and get back to my vibration, the only way that I can raise my vibration and get back my strength and my self-esteem and my self-confidence is to stop covering my eyes to the truth. This person really does see that there's many options for success and she, what's going to happen here is somebody is going to change their life. That's, that's what's happening here. I want the good stuff. And in order for me to get the good stuff, I, my free will plays a part. And they've blocked the good stuff. Somebody has blocked the good stuff. They've blocked the fortune, the good fortune. Now this is a card of karma and destiny. You have to find the strength and the willpower to follow your intuition to follow your gut, to listen to what you're hearing. And to accept the truth that you know. You can't just block it out. This is blocking out the truth. I mean, this is somebody is trying to I don't I know the truth, but I don't want to see it, please. I want to believe it. Wherever they're at, the cups are empty. There's, there's like, I'm sorry. It's like there's no more emotional fulfillment there. And they know that they got better options, but they're going to find that they have to find the courage and the confidence, you know, to take that new approach. That's what's happening. Somebody is, no, is accepting that it's time for a change. It's time for a change. Somebody is deciding that, you know, I want happiness, I want success, I want growth in my life, and where I'm at, there ain't none. There ain't none. So, they're reevaluating. Re re We're in a period of reevaluation right now, but I think the decision is like being made. It's like decision making time. Happiness matters. My happiness matters. My growth ha matters. My vibration matters. Somebody is changing their course. They're allowing. They're going with the script. I'm going with what is. I'm no longer going to stay here and hang on to something that is unfulfilling. I can't save this. I can't hold on to it anymore. And I'm missing other opportunities by allowing myself to be stuck in this. Sad situation. So. Let's see what else we got. Somebody is really seeing things clearly about what they need to do. No longer, um, it's like I'm ready to let go of whatever this uh, stance that I have held on to, this, this thought, this um, idea, this whatever it was. Somebody was holding on to something, wasting their time in denial, somebody has been wasting their time in denial, blocking their good fortune, blocking the good stuff. I mean, you can't make that up. And now it's time to accept the truth and take the power back. This is stuck in there. The truth is stuck in this whatever it is. I don't know if that's a tree or looks like, I don't know, it could be a cliff. I don't know. That sword is stuck in there. He's going to have to pull it out. I'm, I'm going to have to pull the truth out. I'm going to have to take that power back in my own hands and accept the truth. Get unstuck. The truth is I need to get unstuck. I'm stuck and I need to get unstuck. 
and somebody is realizing that. Time to put my crown back on. Because wherever they're at, they're dealing with a distraction. Somebody perhaps that is very immature and somebody that maybe somebody that has a self-image problem. Maybe it's even you. Somebody has a self-image problem. There's immaturity here. Um, there's victim mentality, there's, um, you deal, you could be dealing with somebody who has nothing good to say and they're distracting you from peace. They're distracting you from peace. They're distracting you from stability from abundance you're dealing with somebody who is kind of like a Debbie Downer who is stealing your energy somebody is with somebody who's not very well suited for them and they know it they know it but like I said, it's safe. You need, you need to take that power out and accept the truth. And stop wasting your time. Somebody's, there's a lot of wasted time here. Somebody, uh, seriously, many cards somebody has wasted time in this reading. Being in denial. Not getting prepared for the best future that they could have. It's time to live again. It's time for your renewal. It's time for your rebirth. And somebody has come to that realization that it's time for me to face my fear and come out of this denial and get unstuck. A lot of being stuck and a lot of um, wasting time here. And somebody's coming to the realization, realization that they have wasted too much time. Somebody is about to take back their power. Now this is also the sword of communication. They may communicate their truth. The truth is, I want the good stuff. I want happiness. And I don't want to be stuck anymore. So it's time for me to come out of denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Somebody is about to accept the truth and come out of this place that they've been stuck in. I hope it's you. Good luck. <laughs>